Oftentimes we see people in relationships. We often generalize them as the best. Or in quotes, relationship goals. We start to think everything is perfect. We start to think we'll never have that perfect relationship. We even start to doubt ourselves. Insecurities arise. Self-hate, depression, anxiety. Eventually we find ourselves searching for a relationship in a place of no time, in a place of distractions, in a place of uncertainty, in a place of confusion, in a place of distraught. It goes on and on. If and only if we'd wait, if and only if we just let God work things out. example on how God will change our situation but I can't I can't it's a decision you have to make for yourself some of us might sadly have to experience it to make the decision nothing is perfect absolutely nothing We all have this in mind, but we still search for that relationship. Not because we can't get into one right now. looking for the best one, the perfect one, from the face, to the eyes, to the personality, the list goes on and on, express ourselves in so many ways to the people that don't know what love is I'll tell you take your time ultimately people rush into loving someone and end up being hurt solely because they weren't ready A lot of us find ourselves forcing a mindset, believing love is black and white. If and only if. I wish I could describe what love is to you. I can't, I just can't. It is something you will grow to experience. I always remember my parents telling me as an impatient kid. They always said, let the time come. I kept asking when, 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 when. As an impatient child I was, 
you could imagine how frustrating that might have been to my parents. Sometimes we rush into things and we destroy them. As humans, we are naturally impatient. And that's okay. For distractions arise in so many ways. Matthew 6.34 says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Distractions will arise, problems will occur. It all leads down to how you handle it. Something I grew to learn is, we don't get what we want because we are destined to receive more. If and only if we'll just wait for the time to come. If and only if we were content and grateful. If and only if we appreciate what we have and look at the better sides of the situations we are in. Love is based on assumption. Because it's impossible for us to tell whether it's real or whether it's, well, not real. You can go through an entire relationship believing you love somebody just to find out three to five years later that it was just a feeling you mistook for love. That's the thing about love, Charlie. Once you lose faith in it, the love ceases to exist. Love is real. It's just us that gives it power. However, is a love that seduces and will never allow itself to be seduced. Love transforms, love heals, but sometimes it leaves deadly traps and ends up destroying the person who decided to surrender himself completely. Love is an act of faith, not an exchange. Contradictions are what make love grow. Conflicts are what allow love to remain by our side. Life is too short for us to keep important words like I love you locked in our hearts. We love because we need to love. Otherwise, love loses all meaning and the sun ceases to shine. Love is based on feelings. You can never ever understand. Just wait for your time, you will experience it.